Hello and welcome back and that is right finally 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 we have got an official app on the QNAP app center for Towscale. For those of you that want to utilize Towscale, a fantastic application for remote accessing your devices via an encrypted tunnel effectively for free depending on the size of your home or business. Um, we have now got an official app accessible in the app center that's been made available since mid-June I would say. It has still been a great addition to a QNAP's platform here because I know a lot of users that use QNAP have been kind of wary about utilizing remote activity and remote connectivity with the QNAP NAS since the whole deadbolt thing and although up till now you have been able to utilize Towscout on QNAP utilizing either uh, a kind of uh, community created um, QPK uh, on the QNAP Club official app center or utilizing a docker uh, a container I should say um, now it is officially the there and it's on the app center and today we're going to go through exactly how to do it but before we go any further real quick no, a big thanks to carlos over on the uh, nas compare inner circle who submitted this as a video request here on the channel again we probably would have made this anyway but thanks to him suggesting this it kind of gave us a good understanding that we need to do it a lot quicker for those that aren't aware we do run I'm going to background in a circle here on NAS Compares. You can find out more on the Ko-Fi page and the Patreon soon, where we take uh, video requests. We also do a monthly Zoom. We did one yesterday, and thank you for all of those that are involved in that. And it's just another way to support us in what we do, but also create the content that you guys want us to make. And again, we've got a bunch of other services on there uh, with regards to troubleshooting your network connection, uh, consultations, stuff like that. And again, there's lots of options and stuff that you can do there over on our Ko-Fi, and again, soon on our patreon yes jay i will sort that out well that's enough self-congratulation and self-promotion let's go through exactly how to install tau scale how to set it up for a remote connection and what are the benefits so straight away what you can do if you've got the latest feature rich update from qnap rather than just the security ones you will spot tau scale added to the app center you can go ahead and just click install to start installing that application easily alternatively if you're someone that doesn't like your qnap nas to be connected to the internet at any any time at least up till now and you want to access it and download the application locally to update it and upload it to your QNAP NAS you can head over to the download section on QNAP's website fill out the information on your OS and scroll to the bottom and you will find Towscout amongst the applications there which upon you can click on and then download the latest version that's compatible with your own personal setup there but we head over to the QNAP as you can see if you want to go ahead and install it, it will encourage you and let you know that you are using a third party application and you are doing so at your own risk. Again, this is understandable. There is a third party partner application, but for now, click yes. And then you have to select where on the QNAP now you want to install the application. If you have only one storage pool, multiple volumes or one volume, I'm running this on a QUTS system. So it's running on ZFS with no volumes, but otherwise just go ahead and select the location that best suits your storage area. Once the installation is complete it will appear as an available application in that app center alternatively head to the top left and you'll see it's available as one of the many applications on your system so go ahead and click open when you do a new tab will open up here asking you to log into your existing Towscale account now once again as i mentioned earlier on you can get a completely free Towscale subscription depending on the size and scope of your own individual setup if you're a home user with a handful of devices or a very small uh, team um, you can utilize the free account very easily just bear in mind that it does have limitations in terms of the number of client devices and those peer-to-peer -peer connections but for now go ahead and log into your existing Towscale account it will ask you to pop in the details we've got our disposable account there that we've been utilizing which we can go and dump in with the nc throwaway account that we use here on youtube and then it will ask you to connect to that account but you'll still need to verify this in your admin console so now head over to the admin console on your Towscale account which hopefully you're logged into on your existing setup and go ahead and click approve that's important because otherwise you're not going to be able to establish a connection between your client devices your phone your laptop your whatever and the QNAP NAS there and that's really it for the QNAP side of things. Once you're ready, 
go into your list of machines by clicking the machines tab at the top and it will list all the different connected devices that you have on your Tailscale account. For those that don't have Tailscale set up on their local client system, you're gonna to need to head over to the download section of Tailscale and get the client app downloaded for your phone, your tablet, your desktop, your Mac, your Windows system, whatever. You can download it, there are plenty of different versions there and you download it just like any other .exe. And when you've done that, it will appear as an available app for you to utilize. A couple of things to bear in mind straight away is not only is the uh, there at the bottom the Tailscale application going to appear in your taskbar and again that may be different for Mac users there but also double check in your network connections that you do have the Tailscale tunnel established there that's going to be really really important and I'm going to tell you a way later on to re-establish that if you do lose that down the line so again once you've got it enabled there and you've logged in with your Tailscale account because again remember is dirt cheap or free depending on the scale of your business and the number of clients or if you're just a home user or to establish a single connection there but go ahead to the bottom and right click that option there what you'll see is your list of the network devices that are enabled on that local area network something i've done there from there just go ahead and click the one you want and it will copy it to your clipboard from this clipboard option there we can go ahead come out and then either choose to go into an incognito window and then click and put into that IP. And again, if you get a disconnection like you're seeing there, I'll explain in a moment why. But the same goes if you go into your local connection there, you're gonna see if you haven't set up the necessary protocol that it to go straight in there. Because what you're gonna need is this bit here at the end. You're gonna need the port point and the access menu point to get into the GUI of your QNAP there. So go ahead and add that to the end of that URL and boom, you're making your way in. And as you can see, there is our tail scale connection there and a completely different local IP here using my local network adapter. And the same goes, you just need to add that to the end of the URL slug and you'll get straight in. It will differ depending on your own port and setup there. Now I mentioned earlier on, if you uh, are utilizing this and you're noticing that you're going via the Tailscale network adapter or you're getting network confusion, you may have been tempted in the past to right click and disable that uh, Tailscale connection. It may disappear from that list of apps and services there if you do that. Now, the way to get around that is to go back into your program listings. And again, this will differ slightly from Mac users. Find Tailscale on your list of apps, right click, or oh, sorry, uh, double click even. And then from there, you may see a black screen because of the recording and you can select the repair setup there to re-establish that network adapter on your list of network adapters there so if that does disappear and you're having difficulty reconnecting with your tail scale connected nas you can utilize that to re-establish that network adapter on your list of available network adapters there uh, and again, that's really it. Now you've established that network connection and you can utilize that identity in a number of different ways. You can use this newly established identity um, to be utilized in a lot of local file adapters there. You can utilize it in a, a large number of direct file transmission and backup routines there. It's not just about accessing the NAS here via the web browser, but this has been how to set up Tailscale on your QNAP NAS. Now they've added the NAS application there. Let me know if this is something you're going to use. And again, if you're trying to establish the QNAP NAS as an exit node, so if you do want to uh, connect uh, your devices to the QNAP NAS and then use the QNAP NAS as that tunnel point there to centralize and use it as a VPN tunnel, what you need to do is go back into the QNAP uh, application here click it and then from there this new tab will appear using the IP local to your QNAP NAS and you can advertise the NAS as the exit node and when doing so it will appear now and change its identity here in your list of network connected devices and from there you can then establish it as an exit node for all of your connected um, tail scale VPN tunnel devices there straight through the NAS. But that, as I say, this has been how to install tail scale now officially supported on the QNAP NAS platform and via their third party app center. I hope you found this helpful. I'll do a written guide below, hopefully very, very soon. And if you found this helpful, do use the links in the description to take you to different stores where we talk about the products here on the channel. And using those links means that we get a bit of a kickback via the affiliate marketing and it allows us to keep doing what we do. Otherwise, thank you so much for your question, Carlos, and you can find out more on our member system and how to interact with us more on our relevant channels here. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.